Dreamscaped Fragments by Richard Weissman. Dreamscaped Fragments for women. The first is soft, wispy, whimsical, platinum blonde with eyes of blued lightum. Cold, fragile, feminine. My coarseness wounds her sensitivities. She forgives, returns to me with love, soft to the touch, red to the heart. Easy, familiar, sweet, warm, never too sharp. Second, demonic, insane yet lusty, wanting her emptiness filled, fiery with a heat midst her belly. A mind for dark pleasures, unbound, gagged under a foreign time, labeled forever, imprisoned neath ha the house of Salem's tongued nightmare, extensive, beaten, tortured, and still back for the morrows even. Third, highly intelligent, somewhat elusive, aloof, slightly neurotic undercurrents, but not psychotic as the second, sexually exciting, yes, but not to reveal it entirely, with a fear to restrain from the totality of her potential, then behind the door numbered four. A composite of these, at the airport, making a choice, difficult, wanting all four, or at least three of four. The one, two, three, Freudian slip, the first, third, and fourth, more socially acceptable, besides the psychotic one deemed evil, especially attractive since she's repulsive, hurting fragile feelings of the first by revealing desire towards third and fourth, saddened as I express repressed guilt. She's too sweet for my senseless exteriors. Everything shifts at a diner, poor with the rich debutante, her father's checkbook to hand. Paying for everyone, everything as I, feeling inadequate for my impoverishment, again turn to sudden time-space shifting. Back at 22 Radnor Road, the mysteries therein. My room's changed. Can't place any books. Looking for James in vain. They've moved wake. Moved all my books. They, my parents, the evil demonic archetypes of my stunted youth dragon, now climb up into the attic as the yawning drawbridge lowers. We're all figuring I was adopted, immediately waking, wanting to retain all these dreamed fragments to paper, recognizing that though I've lost the meat, still there's some of the flavor of being pissed because of life's imperfection. And a poem.